We sometimes try and help you out with some advice of things to take with you on a ride, but this is a list of things you really shouldn't need to take on a ride. Number one, a shock pump. Now this is something I see a lot of people ride with all the time. And yeah, I will take one actually if I've got a new bike or if I'm playing around with some settings, I'll take it out to the trail so I can faff around a little bit on the trail. But for most normal rides, you really shouldn't need to take one of these things with you. Shock air pressure really is something that you set at the start and then it really doesn't change that much. If you do need to change it, try and do it at home because that's quite a bit of weight to be lugging around with you you don't necessarily need. Number two, chain lube. Now, maintaining your bike and lube in the chain is, of course, something you need to do regularly, but it really should be done pre-ride. I'm sure some people will be saying, I got a massive rise, I need to take a bit of lube with me to lube it up halfway around. Yeah, potentially in winter, it might be worth doing, but I would say probably look at the chain lube you're using. I'm using dry lube at the moment, nice and sunny and dry out on the trails. In winter, when it's really wet, this stuff can get washed off, so I'll use wet lube instead. This is only 100 mm here, so it is pretty lightweight. Uh, the exceptions to the rules, I went bike packing with Blake, so two day ride, we took everything with us. I will take some chain lube for that, especially if we rode through some salt water. Also GCN do have a hack. If you want to take some chain lube, and you don't want to carry that much weight, use one of those little wasabi style plastic containers, just a little top up of oil if you do need it. Tub of grease. Now, there is an argument for taking some chain lube with you, although I don't, 99% of the time. You should never need to take grease with you for the weight of this thing. That is for big maintenance jobs. If you need to take that with you on the trail, something's wrong with your bike. Do it at home, leave it at home. Tire sealant. Now this is going to be a controversial one. I'm sure there's plenty of you at home watching this thinking I carry this every time and I need it. Uh, I've definitely needed some on the ride in the past. Maybe if I've put a new tire on the night before, go for a ride and hasn't quite sealed. A bit of a top up should do the trick. Or if you put a big rip in your tire and you just need to top it up again. Obviously you can get smaller bottles than this. This is quite a big one and you can carry it with you. Uh, but for me, it's such a rare occurrence, I really don't carry a tyre sealant at all with me. I guess, similarly, like the chain lube, if you're going on a really big ride, you're doing a multi-day epic ride, you might want to take some with you, but 90% of the time, I'm not going to carry tyre sealant. A torque wrench, as nice as this little kit is, this is a tow peak. Ratchet Rocket Light NTX. Got these little torque bits in there, so five, six, and a four newton meters. Great for many of the bolts on your bike, like your stem bolts. Lovely little ratchet in there. Really, you shouldn't need this on the trail. I use this as sort of a little mobile toolkit, keep it in my car, because really setting torque on bolts on your bike should be done you know, at home or in the garage because they shouldn't come loose on the trail if they're set to the right torque. Therefore, you shouldn't really need a torque wrench on the trail. Fizzy drinks, they're not great for chucking in your water bottle, so they're gonna get shaken around. Also in your camel bag, they're really gonna rot that thing unless you clean it out straight away. So they just don't mix that well with riding. Although I have been known on those big epic rides to top up my water bottle, half water, half Coke, to get me home with that sugar. But carrying a whole can on the ride is not really a great idea. A speaker. Now, you're not in a spinning class, you're going for a bike ride, and yeah, it might be good to take some tunes, maybe you could wear some earphones, they're lighter and easier to use. Also, not everyone else on the trail is gonna like your style of music, so maybe leave a speaker at home. I feel so much better. One last thing not to take on a ride is a bad attitude, especially if you're going on a group ride, trying to bring the level down. Of course, that's probably gonna disappear pretty quick as soon as you get pedaling anyway. Uh, if you want to see a video on how to prepare for epic rides and what I took on my summer solstice ride, click over there for that one. Give us a thumbs up if you like riding without loads of stuff in your backpack and hit that subscribe button if you've not done already.